In today's video, we are exploring the abandoned historical buildings of Atlanta. There's security. I'm going to ask him for a tour of the place. This place, remember, is over 100 years old. Across from that building is the Atlantic Civic Center. Tonight, after sitting empty for nearly a decade, the Atlanta Civic Center could be set for a revival. No, no. What is up, Explorers? Today we are in the South. We are in Georgia and Atlanta, and I pretty much just wanted to make a video about going over a lot of abandoned places in Atlanta. Atlanta's the next up and coming. It's pretty much gonna be the next LA maybe, who knows? Um, a lot of businesses are opening up, a lot of new businesses are moving here. A lot of main chain places around the US is moving right here and they're redeveloping it and growing all of Georgia. It's getting to be really cool. Um, so one of the things is, is that there's just so many abandoned places here. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to just go over some of the abandoned places around ATL and explore it and show you guys. Just like abandoned Detroit, there's a whole bunch there and we went through a lot of them. In this video, we're starting it here at the old YMCA, but this is not just any YMCA. This is the only minority YMCA that was able to be fully independently funded. Uh, they, had, they were able to operate on their own and do whatever they wanted. It was really good. Uh, this is a very historic YMCA. It opened up in 1920. It's been pretty much open for over 100 years. In 2012, this place closed for good, and pretty much it was the decline in people coming here. And that's because of the declining revenue, and it was because everything was costing more money on the uprise. I also found out that Martin Luther King used to go to this YMCA. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal. And one last thing guys, inside here there is 48 dormitory rooms, seven classrooms, there was a gym, auditorium. This was a pretty good YMCA. It's dark. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this light on. This Welcome. Like yeah. So far, just starting off in this building, everyone, it's, you know, gutted. Asbestos probably everywhere and mold. I don't, have, I don't have my mask with me today, but, eh, should be fine. Could be people in here though, but I'm assuming squatters, but should be good. Should be fine. Places like this probably stick together too. You never know. Yeah. Everything, even the lights are like tipped over, fell. Scrappers came and probably took all the copper out. You can see right here, all of it's gone and gutted. And the thing is, like we said, this building is historical. I, I hope they could re renovate this because of the history on it. Oh, snap, you scared me. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that. A clean pool though. It's not even that tagged up. For being so destroyed, you would think this pool is like completely tagged. It's not. <laughs> yeah, there's some lead paint tripping and stuff. It's not bad though. Yeah, like we just said, there's like no graffiti here. Usually taggers, man, they love to hit the pools, but there's like nothing. Yo, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a few YMCA's, but this one will probably be the most historic YMCA I probably will ever do in my entire life. That's abandoned. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, look at that sauna. Dude, the outside, it doesn't even look like a sauna, just that door. Oh, it's nasty in here. So I guess we cleared the first floor. Not too much on the first. I mean, the other door is locked. We would have to actually go down that ladder, but we're gonna head upstairs. Maybe some extra lighting. Uh-oh. We have to go down that sketchy way and we have to come up the other way. 
It's the only way. I don't think that leads up, though. It does. <laughs> yeah, because we'll go the other route. It must go down, go up another way, into a better hallway. <laughs> Dude, I feel like Explorer was definitely through here. You he probably like put this right here. And you blocked it? Oh, you yeah, think, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He could have claimed it as his house, I guess, but... Yeah, what's it even look like? Dude, oh, it just pops Oh, it's out. a gym, bro. Oh, we gotta get yeah, it. Yeah, it's a whole gym. Maybe you just gotta kick it open. <laughs> <laughs> it's, see, they stole it. Dude, all we had to do, there was just this piece of wood blocking. We just had to push the wood down. All right, we're good. I was expecting like someone to- Come on! <laughs> Yo, chill the f*** out, dude! I got chill you! <laughs> Don't ever do that again! I got you. <laughs> Don't ever do that again! Dude, it was smart. It was just that piece of the wood. There. That's all it was. Dude, this gym's fresh. Mad old. I mean, it goes down kind of far down there as well. The, mas the basketball nets are still up. This place, remember, is over a hundred years old. Assuming, you know, this is the original net. Like, hoop and stuff, but... Still cool. Old vegetables rotten. This is a really cool room. We just spent about four or five minutes getting a cool shot I liked here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these photos. I have like seven years of photos. Maybe I'll make a book. Comment below if I should make a book. That gym was cool. This we can check out after. The medical arts building? Oh, dude. Let's go. After. Is that, is that part of this place? No. no really There's just a lot of abandoned here. It's fun. I mean, they're developing it so much. I, 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 I would not mind living around here. I think it would be really cool. Property value is going to go up. I wouldn't mind buying a place. It's going to go up. It's kind of a no-brainer, I feel. For the next couple of weeks, a bunch of spots. All visitors must check in at the front desk on the first floor. Dude, this place is gutted. <laughs> if anything, the graffiti color is making it better. You know what it is too, the outside weather is so good right now, everyone's outside, so I bet you people come here to sleep. Wow, look at the outside. It's just all overgrown. Wait, where's the peaches? It's right here, it's all for you. Oh. Actually, I can't even tell if those are peaches. No, those are apples, bro. What? Yeah, those are apples. Man, there must be a peach somewhere. Whatever. Wow. Whatever. On 4K. <laughs> I got you on 4K. You don't even know your fruits, bro. That's going in the video. And this is actually kind of cool. That room and this room, completely opposite of each other, too. And look at this, like I said, next door, all new developed uh, apartments and they're just building and building and building. Atlanta in the next five years is gonna be so much just grown in general and it just keeps growing. I've been here, I've been here five, six years ago and a lot of these buildings are just new and they just keep building and building. It's, it's popping. So these rooms up here were actually their uh, boarding rooms because there was, I think there was 78 bedrooms in this whole place. So the top floors was, yeah, there was also like seven classrooms as well, so. It makes sense what we're in right now. 
Wow, look at this room. All red tint. Room 306 is closed. Oh. You know, you've got memorials here. Some famous ones actually right here down there. Thanks, son. Wow, we're on like the fifth floor now. <laughs> I think we're heading to the roof. We gotta be close. Up there. Yeah, everything else is empty, so. Yeah, that's a cool shot, actually. Oh. Wow, talk about the stairway to heaven, Zach. Dude, this shot is sick. Look at that, the vibes. I just took a picture of this. Check out Instagram down below if you want to see it. I was like, yo, who is that? I didn't even know it was you. I was like freaking out because you put your shades on. I'm peacing out. I'm peacing out. Is it? I'm coming up. Shout out to Quan ATO. Seen you like three years ago at RNK. Dude, I love doing abandoned in the South. Seriously. It just hits different, but maybe it's because the view. Look, Saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches, top ramen place versus five star dinners. All right, so we're gonna see how many abandoned ATL um, bandos we can hit in one day. So far, this is our first one. Um, I think it's dark in six or six to eight hours. So we're gonna see how much more we can do. Loving the vibes, though. I love exploring in the South because it just hits different, and I. Maybe it's the weather, I don't know, but I, I love it. I love it. Hello. Life is better in the dope ride, I know. The water better in the low tide. Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know. No such thing as playing both sides, I know. The life is better in the dope ride, I know. The water better in the low tide. Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know. Coming from a family drunk cycle and it's belligerent Me, I sip a little bit, maybe a little more Just trying to keep it cool. Dude, this is a whole abandoned like mini skyscraper right now Graffiti's all on it Over in front of me is the Medical Center Arts Building This building is 12 stories and was built in 1927 And it closed actually around 1995 when a fire struck it It's been abandoned ever since now, this is one of these places that in 2019, they're like, hey, let's try to build back this place. Let's fix it up. And apparently they said a hotel company might buy this building and they're going to build 120 hotel rooms inside of here. This was back in 2019 so far. It has not been touched since, but it will eventually be taken over one day. I already know it is. So just checking everything out. Upsides, I know. No such thing is playing both sides, I know. This place was actually one of the first buildings in all of ATL Georgia to have a parking garage. And we're still walking on it now. This little one right here was one of the original ones to ever have one for a building in this city. Yep, and there's the building one more time right there. And that was the medical arts building. Um, you can't go inside, it is fully sealed. No permission, no nothing. I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> uh, so we just hit up to the next building. It was an apartment complex or some sort of thing back in the day. And as of right now, it's getting renovated. So you can, like I said, they're renovating everything. Here it is right now. You can see the lights are even on in the inside. The lights are on all there. They're fixing it up. It's already cleared out. But that's what happens when you're doing a band and you're trying to, you're trying to find the best spots or you want to get to them and right when you get there, they're getting fixed up or they're demolished. It's part of the game, we're used to it. Look at that thing though, what the heck is that? <laughs> Whatever this construction thing is, it's the, it was a part of the building. You know, you can see it was an old church or some sort connected on the same grounds as the renovated building right now. And right here, guys, across from that building is the Atlantic Civic Center. This is pretty much a full-on arena, all abandoned. Check this out, this is sick. Look at that, can't make it out anymore. But it's guarded by a barbed wire fence and everything. 
company tonight after sitting empty for nearly a decade, the Atlanta Civic Center could be set for a revival. Our partners at the Atlanta Business Chronicle say developers just filed a permit application with the city. The proposed project amounts to nearly $600 million. It includes housing, stores, green space and a civic square. The Civic Center has sat empty since 2014. So far, the city's plans to turn it into a mixed use development have failed. Just last week, one city council member called it a figurative black hole. That's kind of funny. The sign says every day is an opening day and this place is just straight up abandoned. We're like sightseeing in Georgia, but for abandoned places. That's what we're doing. <laughs> There's security. I'm going to ask him for a tour of the place. It doesn't hurt to ask. No. How much for a tour, guys? What's it gonna cost? Uh, can't really do it. Because uh, people it? who own uh, the property, yeah, they, they kind of strict get right now. They get crazy? Yeah, yeah, like, they watch it right now. Oh, oh, the yeah. owners are here too? Yeah, no, I'm about the camera. You see that right now? Oh, shit. Yeah, they, Dad, they no, I, I want to go in, dude. It looks sick. I know. Yeah, it's, it's been say, abandoned it's for been 10, 2014. Minute, oh, yeah. dang. So they're still guarding it after, like... They th they're thinking eight, about re uh, redoing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yeah. I don't think you see you'll see his black mold and old chairs. Yeah. <laughs> black mold and old chairs. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. All right then guys. Yeah. Thanks though. Oh, you do so you do photography? Yeah, well I do a bad I do I do abandoned places for a living on, on YouTube. Oh for real? Yeah. Yo, honestly those guys were dope. They're like honestly I would let you in, but uh, the people that own the place are super strict and it's been abandoned since 2014. And he's like, all you're gonna see in there is uh, chairs and black mold. So, <laughs> right on. That's cool though. Driving by, we noticed there was many more places left abandoned. Yo, Quan. What's up? Yo, if hey. everyone, I don't know if everyone remembers Quan, Quan ATL, he was with us when we did the Morris Brown uh, College and things like that with the football stadium like two years ago at RNK. He took us in there, but now we're all, yeah, now we're all together, bro. Now we're all together and back. We got Zach, of course, and now we're checking out this old school, but this school is getting literally remodeled and uh, Quan was just like, dude, like they're remodeling the school. I didn't even know. And they are, they actually is a sign in front of it saying they're remodeling it. So I don't know what it looks like now. It might be scrapped. Might be too late. Man, you're getting remodeled. You're getting remodeled. <laughs> well, this place is bigger than I thought. I did see a window in the door. They already removed all the asbestos out of here. They cleaned it up. All the lead paint's gone. This place used to have the whole auditorium, the gym, the the classrooms. Now it's all scrapped. We were we were too late, huh? Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's like they're um, they're trying to like remodel it right here. Yeah. Oh, so this is the company that's remodeling this. Different floors? Oh yeah, because well, usually they scrape the floors out to get the asbestos out, but these actually are the original floors of this place. Yeah. Look at this, even more. Well, free promo. <laughs> nah, it's really rise above. That's what it is. Yeah, this is the outside of what the building's gonna look like when it's renovated, but it does not look like this at all right now. So they're gonna get it. Right down here, this is the hallway where some of the classrooms were on the right. You know, this is all we can make out and what's left. And you can see right here, this was the board, the chalkboards. But hey, I'd rather see a place get renovated and fixed up than just knocked down. The hallways look cool though with the lighting, the natural lighting. So the thing is cool is because the city and Georgia itself is completely rising up, like literally rising above, uh, the economy is getting better, businesses are flowing in here, that it's not even a bad idea to even buy this school that's abandoned because the outskirts and around it is just growing, which is going to make the value of this place even go up. It's only, it's only good.
This reminds you of Japan. Yeah. Seeing all the old art on the ground in Japan, it looks just like this. But we're now outside of the place. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the front. Hey, because this was, oh, I thought it was tigers. Oh, here it is. Welcome to the home of the tigers. Sweet. Yeah. Conscious. Maddie. Tell me what this place is. Um, boys and girls <laughs> well, the door's open right up here. Let's go to the pool first. Okay. Whoa, we gotta go in there after. Damn. This, yo, this might be the longest pool I've seen that's abandoned. Oh no, actually the one we've done before at Morris College oh, was yeah, longer. Was that was yeah, that was huge. Wait, so uh, what's this place? Uh, it used to be an old boys and girls club, I believe. Oh, was it? Okay. And what'd you say, is this the one they did the NBA? The women's basketball. I think they used to train here or whatever. Oh dang, that's dope. Like none of those are broken yet. That's blue, is, like really good. You can tell that they shot, like they shot these. Yeah, the, the uh, glass windows. Get out this Yo, you can't fit through there. Okay. I can't fit through there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, this side's not touched by graffiti, and that side is. Stay stealing, boys. Man, tags are wild out here. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> thug till I, thug till I die. Right here. Yeah, that was squishy. It's kind of pristine right here. It's like everything's destroyed or knocked down. But look how and like, then these books so aren't clean. even touched. So clean. Except by water and all the damage. Yeah. Ew, I'm not going to wear new shoes. Yeah, because nothing else is here in the whole place, and then those books are just chilling. Dr. Seuss right there. That's nice. That's actually a good thing. Guys, we just found a plaque of the YMCA on Butler Street, which is the first place we hit during the day. And we're in another YMCA, and I think because when a lot of them closed down, well, that one specifically, a lot of them came to this one. So that's pretty cool. Dope. Oh. Dang, the rest of the equipment. Yeah, not going yeah no one's going to lift that up or take the time to do that. Yeah, because what happened was there's a huge fire. That's why the whole place looks black. Before, it was just, it was wooded. It was all wooded, and it wasn't even like any light in here. But when the fire happened, yeah, they had to let air come in this side, I guess. Right. Okay. Dude, there are so many YMCA's, so many schools, oh, hospitals, theaters, all over this freaking place. It is unbelievable. This is the last picture here. The Atlanta Dream. Yeah, the Atlanta Dream is a basketball team for all women, and they're still playing right now. Wait, show them the new logo, what it looks like. The blue one? Yeah. It looks like this now. Fast cut. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's their new logo from here. That's cool. So this is a pretty important, I'd say, little gym. Because this is where the, the women were training for the NBA. Women's rights. Yep. Are important. Yes, it is. <laughs> they were training right here. It's pretty cool. Well, now it's just kind of bad here. 